Hey guys, welcome to the Know Your Scissors show. This week we're gonna focus on uh, a new scissor that I just got in. So I'm really excited to talk about this thing because I used it all week and it's definitely one of the favorites in my pouch at this point. So we have the Blacksmith Fit Beak Scissor. Uh, this is the 5.5 inch. It does come in different sizes uh, and colors. So if you wanted to upgrade that, you can. Um, we're gonna break down the scissor real quick, things that I like about it, and then I'm gonna offer you guys a special deal at the end of this. So, the things that I love, uh, and, and actually the things that were a little difficult for me, I'm gonna talk about as well, because uh, I wanna give you the 100% truth on this scissor. Uh, it has the Blacksmith Fit handle. So those of you that have tried the Blacksmith Fit scissor before, uh, it has a triangular bevel to the uh, ring finger hole there. Uh, what I like about that is it allows the ring finger to really sit into a nice groove so you get a good grip on the scissor uh, and it just feels really comfortable. Sometimes when it's too round, you don't feel like the scissor is secure in your hand. Uh, also, let's get into the whole point of this scissor, the beak blade. It looks like it's a bird, uh, that's why they call it the beak. Uh, but it also, the skinny blade, we've talked about before how a fatter blade is gonna have a lot more power. This is not a powerful scissor. This scissor is made for detailing and also precision cutting. So if you're somebody that likes to take really thick sections and cut a lot of hair at once, this is not the scissor for you. If you're cutting a client with really thick coarse hair, this isn't the scissor for you. This is for really fine sections and creating a lot of detail. Now, what I will tell you is this scissor is like cutting with razor blades. It's so sharp. Uh, that's what I really found that I loved the most about it. Um, it was easy to get into tight places when I was working uh, palm to palm, uh, scissor over finger, all of those different techniques work really well with this scissor. It just gets into nice tight spots. Um, it's also, like I said, very, very sharp. The thing that I noticed is I like to really dig my scissor into, uh, into my finger as I'm cutting. Uh, but because this blade has such a sharp point on it, it actually was digging into my finger a bit. So you have to make some minor adjustments and I think um, that's the only complaints you would ever have with this scissor. So it's not that the scissor is wrong, it's just that you're trying to use it the way you would use other scissors. So think about it as a detail scissor. It's got a really sharp point. Scissors with fatter points are harder to do that detail work around the edges, uh, to go in and do small point cutting around the haircut. So this is perfect for that. And then also taking really fine sections and creating that perfect precision haircut. That's what the beak scissor is all about. So uh, again, not a removable tang, so that's nice. I like that. Uh, I, like, like, I like a nice solid feel to the scissor. Flat screw works really well. Uh, and then you have your adjustment here. And then also, uh, this is the fun, like really cool details about Mizutani scissors. If you look right in here, there's a little rough edge to it. That's for gripping with your finger. You know, when you're working that detail work, just allows that your finger doesn't slide off. That's, yeah, right there. So um, that's why, that's why I love Mizutani so much. They're handmade. I mean, this is handmade scissors in Japan. A lot of people posted on the last, uh, video that the scissors are expensive. They are expensive. There's a reason that you pay for quality products uh, and this one is no exception to that. This is normally a $500 scissor. Uh, I'm gonna have it for one week on shopfse.com for $400. This is 20% off, huge deal. We're going into the holiday season so if you know anybody that's looking for a nice, awesome detail scissor, this is the one for you. Um, it's got a nice soft metal to it. I wouldn't say it's, it doesn't feel hard when you're cutting, sometimes the nano powder metal uh, grips the hair a lot and feels a little bit tougher when you're cutting. This is definitely a softer cut to it. So a lot of great details, guys. Pick this scissor up, check it out, shopfse or freesaloneducation.com. This is the Know Your Scissor Show. Please post in the comments below any questions that you have about this scissor. And also, if you guys uh, want to see any of the other scissors in the Mizutani collection, post them in the comments below on Facebook or YouTube. Subscribe to us, guys, and we'll see you right here uh, on the next show.